you for chatting with us. It is my delight. What attracted you to Swan Lake? It felt significant for the company to put on this level of production and for the dancers to all rise to that occasion. That well, not just the dancers, all of us, really every department of the organization. As a kid, I loved going to the theater, and the, the designer of this production originally, the sets, um, is a guy named Filippo Sanjust, and he was a very famous uh, Spanish designer for big, expensive opera productions. He was big and tall and had big mustaches and, and a beard, and he wore a cape and a cane. I mean, this is like, you can't make up this stuff. And he would start sketching, and I was just fascinated with this guy. I love that this is sort of an old school, very traditional, I love spectacle that version of Swan Lake, and it absolutely has merit. You know, for so many people, when they think of ballet, they think Swan Lake, yeah. and they think of a certain production, yeah. the look of it. Yeah. And so we're providing that image of ballet yeah. for our audiences. Oh, I've got one. It's really tricky. Okay. What's your favorite bit? My favorite bit. Oh wow. Well, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Odette, I suppose, just because I feel like there's such rich language for her mm -hmm. within the classical vocabulary. Mm -hmm. This whole personalized way of making beautiful classical uh, technique look avian and individual and sensual and expressive and all of that you know mm -hmm. that we will still want a beautiful arabesque but there's so many things you can do with yeah. that to express her feelings or what's happening in her body all of that makes it really kind of modern actually and the, yes, the two things I layered is beautiful 100 agree and like pull her off point and you know what i mean you can it doesn't have to be fast but um continuously moving we're so lucky that we are doing live performance mm -hmm. and we have to embrace that. The whole yeah. point behind it being live is it can only happen this one time this mm -hmm. way tonight. So just like get behind that. I, I say to the dancers, you know, if you allow yourself to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. if you take that risk, if you just put your heart out there and you put yourself on the line, like, hey, you know what? It might feel really uncomfortable, but I'm just going to launch into that balance or I'm yeah, going to launch yeah. into that pirouette and we'll just see what happens. And that willingness to be vulnerable, the audience buys into that and they're so appreciative of you putting yourself out there. Yeah. And it's not until you take that, you launch, you let yourself launch into that vulnerability as a dancer that you start to understand. Um, really that that's all all that you need to do yeah. and for the audience they're only ever going to ever see that piece of art yeah in yeah. that moment moment by moment by moment by moment yeah. and it, never to be replicated exactly you know? it's theirs yeah you get here do this sort of last pull yeah and then boom yeah swan boom